Must be rockets over the red. I'm gonna actually sit down. This is cool. So the next time there's fireworks over in this area, this is a much better view than my other apartment. I'm a little further away. We can just go outside. Well, we can just come here, actually, in the living room. Inside, actually, have a better. It's totally awesome. Oh, this is CJ. Ha. In case I decide to post this on my YouTube. So this is, I think it's the rockets over the red they do on Veterans Day. I don't know. I just like heard some stuff blowing up. I was like, what's up? I didn't know. I like fireworks. As cool as it looks here on this phone, it looks like awesome. Uh, So there are a lot of casinos and, uh, well, not a lot, <laughs> a lot for us. There are five casinos right over there uh, and they do something, I think it's Horseshoe uh, every once in a while, but they do something called Rockets Over the Red. Those are shooting fireworks over the Red River. This is kind of cool. When I was a little kid, this is about as close as I would get to a fireworks display. If they tried to take me, like, we'd be on the river. We'd be, like, at one end of the river. If they tried to take me much closer than this when I was, like, four, maybe five years old, I would just, like, freak the hell out. And I remember being about five and uh, it was a 4th of July and everybody had their little fireworks and I was like totally afraid of uh, explosion, little little fire explosions, exploding sounds in particular, not so much loud sounds, but any kind of exploding sounds freaked me out when I was a kid and I don't know why. Uh, I There's no reason for me to think, I think the surprise of it or something maybe, but there's, yeah, you know, some things are just instinctual. There's no reason for me to have just assumed without prior knowledge <laughs> that a firework would be dangerous. Of course, later on, of course, we see people getting their fingers blown off of stuff. But back then, I, I didn't know. But anyway, it's probably the loneliest time one of the first lonely things I remember, uh, and uh, I was a kindergarten uh, student, and it was 
the 4th of July and everybody was right outside my window having fun, uh, blowing up fireworks. And it wasn't my window. They were that, that, but anyway, yeah, I, I was looking out the window and I wouldn't let them raise the window because I didn't want to hear the sound, but they were outside and they were having fun and I was not having fun. And I remember feeling very imprisoned by my own fear. But fireworks, now they remind me about that. It was almost like a precursor and a lesson in life that fear should never uh, be your jailer. You know, never, never let fear be the reason that you, uh, you know, cannot live, you know, uh, Oh, that's a beautiful scene. I'd be outside right now and I'm too lazy to get dressed. So this is cool. So now I could do is have, have people come over and have, watch a fire Fourth uh, of July show, and it's actually. This is a better view than what I have when I lived in the Fairmont. It was a little bit closer, but my window was really small. You actually had to, like, it wasn't a small window. Actually, it was. It wasn't these big bay windows that take up half a wall. Like, I could, like, literally sit back across the room. And I'd st have still s have seen all that. Or if I were sitting over here... <laughs> Well, I would have had to have leaned, but out of this window, I would have seen it. And then, of course, I can just go out to the balcony. Uh, right outside, you know, how cool. All right, so I will probably post this on my YouTube.